Hello everyone, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about rot constraint in Roblox. Here in my workspace, you can see I have two parts. I have part A and part B. My part A is anchor, part B is not anchor. Now go to your model tab, go to the constraint section. You're going to click on the, the drop down and you're going to select rod. You're going to go to the top part. When you see the, the green dot with the yellow arrow pointing down, just click. So now we have placed our first attachment to the uh, top part. And now we're going to go and place the second attachment to the bottom part. All right. So now I have two attachments. And to see your attachment, what you're going to do is go back to the constraint section. There is a button called constraint details. Click on that. And now you see the two attachments with the uh, rod constraint in the middle. And if you want to see more information, you can click on the Alt key or, or hit the old Alt key to see more information. All right, so now with the rod constraint selected, we're going to go to the properties window and we're going to change the color of the rod. Let's now play and take a look. And there are my two parts. You can see the bottom part is not anchor, so it's moving around a little bit. Uh, the top part is anchor, so it's not going to move at all. Now I'm going to go and give it, give the bottom part a push. And you can see it's swinging like crazy, right, all over the place. So now let's go back to studio. And we're going to see how we can fix that. We, we don't want it to swing so much, right? So to stop it from swinging so much, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, properties window. Go to the bottom. You're going to see limits enable. Check that box. Immediately, you're going to see two new properties popping up. Under limits, you have limit angle 0 and limit angle 1. So limit angle 0 is with this uh, attachment 0. The, the green part, th that's the limit how far it can swing right so right now it's 90 degrees so it can swing all over the place if we change that to 10 degrees hit enter you can see now the green part here is very narrow so it's not going to swing too much at the top but the bottom can see still swing um, you can change both to 10 if you don't want the top or the bottom to swing right or if you want the, the rod to be uh, completely stabilized, you can make them both zero. So now I'm going to make them both zero. The, the rod is not going to move at all. But uh, with the attachment, the, the, the part can still rotate. Even though the, the, the rod does not move, the part can still rotate around the attachment. Let's play and take a look. All right, and it, it's not moving as much as before. And I'm going to go and give it a push. And you see the bottom, the part is rotating. And it's, it's not really moving that much, right? But it can still rotate. Let's go back to Studio and take a look at more properties. There's a thickness property. So right now, the default is 0.1. If I change this to 0.5, let's say, you can see my rod now is very thick. Right, I'm going to change it back to 0.1. And there is a visible property. So if I, uh, if I want to see the rod, I leave it uh, uh, check, the box check, which means it's true. But if I don't want to see the rod, if I want the rod to be invisible, I uncheck this box. So the, the constraint would still be there, but you're just not going to see the rod. Right now, you still can see the rod, but once I press play, you're not going to see the rod. Um, I'll, I'll leave it checked for now, and we will see that later once we press play. So right now, it's visible again. Let me see what else is interesting. There, there is an, an enable. Right now, it's checked. So if you want to get rid of this constraint, you uncheck it and it's disabled so it's not there anymore once you check it again it's going to be there again and then we have the attachment zero attachment one Th those are these two attachment we have the uh, current distance so that that's the current distance between the two attachments 
and limit angle zero limit angle one we discussed that already and the length um, the length is uh, the length of the rod between the two attachments and at the bottom here limits enable we, we already went through that right so um the next thing i want to do is i want to go to service script service where we have a script let me click on the script and i'm gonna enable it and let, let's take a look at the script so here inside the script we're declaring part a so we're, we're only declaring the top part uh, the, the bottom part is going to depend on the top part, uh, depending on this uh, this uh, constraint here by the rod constraint, right? So we, we only care about the top part. Um, first, we're going to wait for 12 seconds. And then we have this for loop where it's going to move the top part up by one every second. So the, the uh, part A is going to move up and it's going to drag part B with it. In, in the second for loop here, I'm still moving part A up for every one second. I'm going to move it up by one. But then I'm also extending the rod, the, the length of the rod by one each time. So you're going to see that uh, the top part, part A, is moving up. But part B is going to stay the, the same because as part A moves up, the, the length of the rod is going to extend by one as well. So part B is not going to move up. It's going to stay still only part A is going to move up. Third for loop here, uh, we're, we're changing the, the thickness of the rod constraint. So for every one second, we're adding a 0.1 to the thickness of the, the rod. This for loop here, the, the final one, we're, we're changing the visible property. So we're going to turn it on and off. Every one second, we're, we're going to switch it on and off. So you're going to see it goes on and off and on and off. And after that, we're going to wait for five seconds. We're going to disable the uh, rod constraint. So it's as if it's no longer there. And we're going to wait for three seconds. We're going to turn it back on and it's going to come back on. All right. So now let's play and take a look. I hope you remember all that, but we're going to see it. So first thing I want to do, I want to give it a good spin. Let's hope I can get there in time. Oh, that's not a good spin. Okay, that's a better spin. And now it's starting to move up, right? So um, the, the top part is moving up. And, and now you see the rod is extending. So this one is not moving up anymore. Only the top is moving up. And now the thickness is changing. And then we, we're turning the visible on and off. And what's next? We're going to disable the rod, I believe. There, there we go. We disable the rod, so drop. And then when we enable the rod, it, it picks up where it lasts. Uh, it, it picks up again, as if uh, nothing happened before that. All right, so I think that was pretty cool. Let me, let me see if I can hit it again. Oh, I, I can climb up there. Look at that. Oh, I got up, but I fell back down. Oh. Yay, I got it. Look at that. I'm standing on top of the block. All right, everyone. That's how you use rod constraint in Roblox. We'll see you again soon. Take care.